prime numbers have fascinated mathematicians for millennia, and there are entire branches of number theory that deal with primes. Now luckily, you only need to know the basics, and the chances are that you already do. So let's just do a quick review and see how the test might have you apply these concepts. Prime numbers are integers, whole, complete numbers, greater than 1, that have no factors other than 1 in the number itself. So for example, 5 is a prime number because the only factors are 5 and 1. 23 is a prime number because the only factors of 23 are 23 and 1. 6 is not a prime factor because it has factors other than 6 and 1, such as 2 and 3. In fact, 6 is an example of composite number, meaning it's made up of other prime numbers and has factors other than 1 in itself. Now on this list of composite numbers, notice that all of the evens greater than 2 are composites. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Now why is that? Well, it's because they can always be written as a product of 2 and some other number. For example, the even number 10 can be written as 2 times 5. 12 can be written as 2 times 6, so on and so forth. Now one thing you may be asked to do is to perform operations with prime factors of a composite number. So in for example, a test question may ask you to find the sum of the two largest prime factors of 12. To solve this, we need to first find all of the prime factors of 12. One common way of doing this is to use a factor tree, which you've probably seen before. In making factor trees, we start by writing any two factors of the composite number beneath it. Here I've chosen 2 because it's the smallest prime. 2 times 6 is 12. Now notice 2 is a prime number, so I like to circle it right away since it's going to be one of my prime factors. Now we're done with 2, so we need to next write the factors of 6. 2 also goes into 6 3 times. Notice that 2 and 3 are both prime numbers, so I circle them. At this point, there's nothing else I can factor. From the circle primes, I can see that the prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. Now notice that I started by breaking 12 up into 2 times 6. I could have started with 3 times 4 and got the same result. I would circle 3 because it's prime, and then I could break up 4 into 2 times 2 which are also both prime. So we end up with 2 times 2 times 3. So now we go back to the original problem, which was to find the sum of the two largest prime factors of 12. Well, they're easier to see here because they're already circled, and the, larger, the two largest prime factors are 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, which would be our answer. So now I want you to try one on your own. Now, 693 is a bit larger than 12, but the process is going to be the same. And I'll give you a hint. Using your calculator, start by dividing 693 by the smallest prime and work up. Now, the first prime is 2, but that's obviously not going to work because 693 is an odd number. So, next try 3. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, welcome back. Hope you've had a chance to go through this. And you'll see that the smallest uh, prime factor is 3, and the largest prime factor is 11. If we multiply these together, we get the product of 33, which is the answer. So let's review how we got that answer. As I recommended before, when you have a large number, start by checking whether the smaller primes, like 2, 3, 5, and 7, are factors. 2 clearly isn't, but 3 goes into 693 231 times. Now, 3 is a prime factor, so I circle it. And now I start the process over again with 231. Again, 2 is not going to go into it because it's an odd number, so I'll start with 3. 3 goes into 231 77 times. Now I circle 3, and I've got to break up 77 into prime factors. If you try out 2, it won't work. 3 won't work. 5 won't work. But 7 goes into 77 11 times. And therefore, I'm done. I've got all prime factors now. So, finally, I look at the smallest prime factor, which is 3, and the largest prime factor, which is 11. Again, easy to identify because I've circled them, and 3 times 11 is 33. You can use this process for any number. It just may take you a little longer, but luckily you've got that calculator.